Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tara. I'm the owner and designer of Marie Elaine. And today I just wanted to share my tutorial of how I made this client's dress. Let's get into it. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is to cut out the pattern from the dress lining. In the description below, I included the commercial pattern that I used to create this dress pattern. We're going to repeat this process again for the back panel. Now the pattern that I'm using can be used for both the front and the back, which is why I'm just using the piece that I just cut out to cut out the back part of the dress. We're going to do the same process on the main fabric. At this point, I'm just straightening out the fabric to get it nice and even. I fold only the amount that I'm going to need to cut out the dress pattern. The dress is cut on the fold. So once I cut it out and open it up, you're going to see that it's a whole piece and not a half. For accuracy, I measure from selvage to selvage. The selvage runs parallel to one another. So this helps me to ensure that I'm cutting along the grain line. If you've ever made something and when you try it on, you notice the fit isn't right, like maybe the left is going to the right or the right is pulling towards the left, chances are that uh, what you cut out was not cut out properly on the grain line. Your grain line essentially is the direction of the weaves of the threads. So you have your straight grain, your cross grain, and your true bias. For the straps, I'm going to mark and cut along the bias. This is the stretchiest part of the fabric and it's the best place to do something like straps. So I mark my fabric at a 45 degree angle and this is how I cut out the bias strips. Now it's time to sew. So I pin the front and back piece together of the main fabric, right side touching right side, and I'm gonna stitch both sides of the dress.
going to repeat the same thing on the dress lining. I went ahead and searched my seams off camera, which is completely optional as the inside, meaning the raw edges won't show once the dress is complete and turned inside out. At this point, I'm going to sew my Rolou straps. The word Rolou is French, but it basically means spaghetti straps. I'm going to pin and sew a quarter inch channel. Now I'm going to turn my Rolou straps inside out. I take a safety pin, push through the corner of the fabric, close the pin, and then I use the pin to push through the tunnel or the channel of the fabric. Once I pull it all the way through, the strap will be inside out and the raw edges will be on the inside. I find this to be the easiest way for me to turn out straps or rollo straps, spaghetti straps, swimsuit straps. Um, there is also something you could use called a loop turner but it gives me trouble at times. But if I was going to create a really skinny strap I would have to use a different method. So if there are any tips that you could um, share with me please leave it in the comment section below. I would love to hear it. to attach the straps to the dress so I measured the length of the strap that I want for the dress and I'm going to use that to cut the second strap to attach it to the dress I'm going to take one strap and attach either end to the front and the back corners on the dress
close the top end of the dress, I'm going to sandwich the straps in between the main fabric and the lining fabric. I'm going to pin and stitch all around. I'm going to sew all around. To complete this look, I did a narrowed hem and an understitch at the neckline so that it would lay nice and flat. If you're still here with me, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.